Hello, the practitioner here. Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsych researcher, technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. Um, as an agnostic, I, I kind of find it interesting this just this whole debate going on between uh, theism and atheism right now. I mean, um, you know, I thought I found it interesting that some of the theists would actually call um, Dawkins and the like militant atheists. Um, actually, you know, I do agree uh, with applying the term of militant. Uh, in relation to religion right now, to uh, the likes of Pat Buchanan and the like, um, purely no, uh, purely in the terms of vocal uh, vocalization, um, but the only times that I would apply it to them or to Dawkins or anybody like that is when um, their argument style uh, slips into critical thinking fallacies. Now, fortunately, in Dawkins' cases, this is, this is extremely rare. Uh, I've only spotted a couple of instances of it, and I've sent him emails to uh, call to call him on it. Um, but you know, for the most part, he's actually doing fairly good. Pat Buchanan, on the other hand, and, uh, and the likes of them, do it all the time. So I would still consider them to be quite highly militant. Uh, that would be the um, the fanaticism overriding the logic, if you will. So anyway, that's just my uh, take on it, and I would agree. Uh, I would actually agree with, with you. Uh, about putting that in. I know you were uh, saying it as a uh, joke, but um, in a more serious context, I would actually agree um, putting the term forward militant theist um, or what have you, um, because uh, my my view of militantism, uh, this is just personal, my own personal view, is that um, when fanaticism or when, um, you know, you know, when overzealousness of a particular belief or, or when an over when one gets overzealous in their particular idea, uh, and when the uh, when the zealousness or the or when they get carried away and um, their enthusiasm overrides their logic or their zealousness overrides their logic, then in my definition that is militant because that is part of what gives rise to actual militant you know terrorism or the you know or the religious wars or the like. So um, you know I would consider Dawkins and the like to be only militant atheists when they cross over the line into critical thinking fallacies, which you know I've only seen a couple of instances and you know it's only been rare and uh, Pat Buchanan and the like I would consider them to be militant theists because they they share that exact same type of mental fanaticism as well militant Islamics do you know the fundamentalist type terrorist you know uh, mentality the only difference between militant um, Christian between militant theists such as Christians and uh, the more militant Islamics is that um, while the uh, well the Christians and the like um, you know well the Christians and the like uh, uh, oh, and they do do this. Um, you know, um, you know, it's it's all. Uh, um, I would basically say that militantism uh, is when you, uh, you know, is when that fanaticism actually starts uh, coming in. And then there would be degrees of militantism. You know, uh, Pat Buchanan and the like could be considered the first level of militantism. And uh, then you'd have like a stage, you know, like a, a, you know, sort of like a terror alert system um, with militantism rising. Um, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of this debate. Um, you know, as you get closer and closer to uh, people, um, you know, to people being willing to kill theists for their own beliefs, um, you know, and stage three militantism in my book would be, uh, you know, willing to kill uh, based on your own idea. Uh, for example, uh, for a um, for an for an example of stage three militantism in uh, atheism uh, would be Stalin. Um, you know, one token example. Um, you know, he was the, uh, you know, in his own madness, in his own madness and his overzealousness in communism, he genuine be genuinely believed it was a good idea to kill the priests in order to, uh, you know, to kill the priests in order to silence the uh, the oppressors of the po of the people. You know, in his, you know, in his twisted mindset, he he genuinely believed that was a good idea. So, you know, that, um, you know, I think he's a token example. Uh, you know, I in in atheism and in you know. In the atheistic sector, uh, it's a considerably rarer that you get that you get this militant type mindset, um, but it is there. And um, you know, and like the theists, I would you know I would equate um, Pat Buchanan, and uh, you know, and I would only equate Richard Dawkins with Pat Buchanan um, only in the times when uh, he's crossed over the line into a really bad critical thinking fallacy. Uh, fortunately, he's only had two instances of that, and again, like I said, I've pro I've commented on both of them in previous videos, and I sent him emails to the effect that they're both up. Uh, you know, I think he's also been, uh, you know, I think he's also been commented on those before um, by other fellow scientists and the like. And he says in those cases, he gratefully accepts the rebuke. And, you know, it's no, it's neither here nor there. You know, he's a logical man. He just, you know, sometimes a little overenthusiastic, you know, tends to do that. And the same with Pat Buchanan, except in Pat Buchanan's case, he's a little bit more warped. And, uh, you know, I think theism in their case that tends to breed the illogic more so than it does in our own contention. Um... But other than that, yeah, I agree with applying the militant label to uh, to Pat Buchanan or insert uh, Fundy here. Um, you know, much as uh, one would uh, suggest the same to um, to Sam Harris or Richard Dawkins or others. But I would only apply it to them when they actually cross over to a you know to a critical thinking fallacy. 
Other than that, um, I would consider them to be mega atheists, um, and by mega I mean the uh, they're the most popular, the most well-known, the, the leaders, if you will, of the atheist movement, the most vocal of the bunch. Uh, like I would call Randy, Shermer, Hyman, uh, Ray Hyman, Richard Wiseman, and a few others to be mega skeptics, as opposed to uh, agnostic atheist skeptics on my level, or on yours or my level, um, you know, who are just the everyday, fo the everyday foot soldiers in this battle. So, you know, anyway, that's just, um, that's just my take on it. Uh, take it for what you will. And, um, yeah, uh, like I said, keep up the good work on the video. Um, and, uh, you know, keep up the good work on the videos. And, um, yeah, I, I hope to hear more from you in the, uh, in the future on this issue. Um, so until then, toodles.